Hi, Wub Wub! My name is Ellie. My name is Gia. Today we're making Ube cheese panda salad. But what's Ube? Ube is a Filipino word for purple yam. Then what's panda salad? Panda salad is a bread that Filipinos typically eat for breakfast. Oh, I see. Then let's get to it. Yay! Now we're going through all the ingredients. Ha a half cup ube jam, three fourths cup hot water, three and a half cups all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons instant yeast, one teaspoon salt, six tablespoons sugar, one cup warm milk, one medium egg, two tablespoons vegetable oil plus more for greasing, four tablespoons bread crumbs for coating, one block quick melt cheese cut into 12 cubes. First, we add the flour, salt, and sugar together in a and big mix. bowl and then mix. We're gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one cup warm milk, and remember to be careful. Then one medium egg. Once it looks like this, we can add the instant yeast. Now we add the ube jam. What's ube jam again? It's a Filipino word for purple yam spread. Now let's add the warm water. And then we mix. We weren't getting the white consistency, so we added more flour. If yours turns out too watery like ours, you can also add more flour. Now we need to dust our hands with flour and dust the surface that we are kneading our dough on. We wash our hands, okay? So make sure you do too. Now we need to wrap it and leave it in a warm place for one hour. Eee. There. Now we keep it in a warm place and wait for it to rise double its size. Now that the dough has risen two times its size, you have to punch it! Well, last time. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we transferred the dough from the bowl to the surface, we have to cut it in half. Now we set the other one aside after we cut it. And then we cut it into six parts. And shape it into a rectangle. Okay, shape it into a rectangle. 
I got it the rectangle, we're gonna cut it into six equal pieces. Now we're gonna take each part of the dough and roll it into a ball. Then you're gonna do um, the exact same thing with the other dough that you set aside. Now we have to grab one ball, flatten it, then put the cheese inside the ball, roll it back into the ball, and do the same thing to everything. Now that the cheese is in the panda house, we're gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs on top of them. So, make sure it's even. Now we have to wrap the panda cells and let them sit for 30 minutes. Now we have to preheat our oven to 340 degrees. get some gaps in the pan itself, we had to move it into two. So now let's go and put them in the oven. Here you go, sis. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Zooming out.